teach your team inclusion as a human need and a human right. I came across a homeless man the other day who was holding up a tattered piece of cardboard and it said, be kind if you're not my kind. What a lesson. Now here's the principle, teach your team members to approach each other with the understanding that we all have a human right and need to be included. We long to belong. In that connecting process, we exchange emotional, social, intellectual, and spiritual value. Inclusion isn't something we earn, it's something we're owed. As social creatures, we act like free electrons, demonstrating both connection and contention. It's true that we need each other to flourish, and yet despite knowing this, we suffer sometimes from compassion fatigue. We're handicapped by our blind spots, and we chronically regress to the mean. We snap back. We go through cycles of embracing and exiling each other. The study of humans in social settings is largely the study of exclusion and fear. For example, a mere third of U.S. workers believe their opinions count. Despite our unique life stories, we share common experiences. We have all felt the pain of rejection and reproach. At the same time, we've all done some excluding and segregating, some manipulating and controlling, some depriving and belittling, some friending and unfriending. We've all drawn racial, social, or other demographic or psychographic lines and made unjust judgments on others and treated them poorly. We know something about marginality because we've all been marginalized. We can be benevolent, compassionate, and kind. We can also be, as the Harlem Renaissance poet Langston Hughes put it, stinking, low-down, mean. We have constructive and destructive tendencies. Sometimes we classify each other the way I classified butterflies in the fourth grade. We invite and disinvite, include and exclude, listen and ignore, heal and abuse, sanctify and scar. We love and hate our diversity. The truth is we're embedded in, implicated with, bound to, and shaped by one another.